Hey, it's Ginger and Cooper. Welcome to our channel, Life with Cooper. <laughs> yes, it has gotten to that point. Let's talk about Bible thumping. Have you ever had someone, okay, first of all, do you know what Bible thumping is? It's someone that it's, uh, it's not like getting the Bible hitting, hitting you, but they say it with their words, you know, scriptures, and they're forceful. They're just like, the Bible says this and this and this, and they're doing it like spiritually, mentally, you know, it doesn't have to be hitting physically. Well, let me tell you a story. So I was on my way, I think it's two days and one night, on the way to Africa, overseas missionary trip. We have uh, churches, we have churches built and like thousands of people, salvation, this and that. And I went with a good friend of mine and so we were separated on the airplane and we we're one of the airplane rides um i was with two of my friends actually and <laughs> i'm sitting there you know i don't eat their food you know I, it's hard for me i can't sleep on the plane i mean this is not a fun time for me okay i did 13 overseas trips in just a few years and at a 30 California that's fine it takes only just a day you know it used to be you know depends if I fly into LAX or uh, John Wayne Airport but the point is I'm sitting down I, I'm trying to focus of I gotta learn how to sleep I gotta you know you know I'm used to exercising and sitting there and so I had no one next to me and you know how when you fly and if there's room then people can switch their speed their seats well this guy comes up and he says right next to me just like this dog is doing right now puppy Dylan and he sits like in a rush he just kind of sits right next to me and I was like oh you know introvert and I'm sitting there and he just starts you know bragging about what he's gonna do in Africa sorry Africa and what he is going uh, to teach and he wanted to practice on me. I don't know who this is. Just some person. Go on, go on. You're attacking me. And I don't know who this person is, right? And this person is like, the Bible says this and this and this and what I do when I go to Africa. See, he's attacking me. No, we're not playing. We're not playing. And what I'm... <laughs> he sits there and he starts... I'm not going to say the A-T-T-A-C-K, because this one's doing it to me. Uh, he sits there and goes, what I do? And he was just, you know, he, you know, I'm telling you, the whole plane, the, the, most of the time, on this one flight, almost all of them are missionaries. And everyone's bragging to each other. There's some that are connecting. And then, you know, they think they're better than this and this and this. And they're sharing, whatever, you know. But this one was sitting right next to me. And I thought, I, oh, I had space, you know, by the aisle. Sits next to me and starts Bible thumping me. And I'm looking, like, is this happening? I didn't say anything. And, but you know, everyone on the plane is, is doing some kind of missionary work, which is awesome. And what's really weird is once you land there, they all disappear and you don't see them again. It, it, it's strange. Anyway. But it's awesome that we're body of Christ, we have different gifts, and we work together. But it is not nice to Bible thump or preaching to the choir, so to speak. Sit there, and he was asking me questions, you know, uh, practicing, because that's what he's going to do while he's in Africa. And he was telling me, you know, and he started testing me, like my knowledge. Now, I read the whole Bible before. I've been teaching Sunday school, you know, VBS and adults, uh, biblical teaching since 1995. Am I going to compete with this? I'm trying to, trying to eat, trying to sleep. My soul is like, I don't want to be here. My temple's tired. I was traveling like almost every month for years. And that's the last thing I need before we get, before we land. And he just kept on, I mean, just on and on. And I finally had to say... And, and I just said something like, you know, yeah, yeah, I quote a lot. In my ministry, I, do, I quote a lot of New Testament. And then he bumped me on that one, which I do the Old Testament. We teach the Ten Commandments when we go across, you know, over there and all this stuff. And I finally had to tell him, you know, 
boundaries. I finally had to say, you know, I do, you know, I told him about my spiritual gifts, seeing the spiritual realm. And if he wants to practice his ministry, I'd be glad to, you know, spiritually clean him up, you know, through Jesus, of course. Basically that little line and then, and then my friend came and talked and then he found out who we were and then he just kind of calmed down. But the point is, Bible thumping is not, it's not, how is that productive? Especially the people that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the ministry longer and it, it doesn't matter. The point is, you don't Bible thump non-Christians and Christians, and especially Christian leaders. And yes, I was seeing the spiritual stuff on him, watching him while he was telling me what to do or whatever. I didn't ask for that. It wasn't even his seat. So, please do not Bible thump Christians, non-Christians, or Christian leaders. Where are you going, Coop? Ooh, you're not gonna. Where are you going? He's right here. <laughs> He's right here. I can see his bottom on the other side. So do not Bible thump people. It is not productive. Their souls are, if, if you're gonna go forceful control manipulation or dominant or pride, vanity, self-righteousness, ego, narcissist or arrogance, you're just gonna go, mm, I know it all and this is how it is. That doesn't help. I've done over 2,000 sessions. I've prayed over thousands of, thousands of people that's overseas and in the States. And I, and I see what's going on in their, their, you know, their soul, the brain, the temple, the body, the spirit, the heart. It doesn't work. I, I observe. I watch. I can say something and I, I have to be low key so their soul won't feel, you know, try to protect them. I mean, you Bible something. It, ask God. God, do you want me to Bible thump people? How are people, they're going to get, you know, defensive. They're going to, it's going to turn them off to Jesus. Jesus, did he go around? I mean, he did his thing, but we're not Jesus, but... You know, he paved the way, but he, he didn't go around bashing people with scriptures. Yes, yeah, say scriptures, but love. And if you need love from the for these people, the guy next to me, I didn't feel any love for the people. It was like a job, I know it all, and uh, I have relatives like that too. I have a job, uh, as credentials, you know, I'm, you know, more important and you know, self-righteousness, uh, kind of Pharisee-ish, you know? And there's no love. What's that scripture about love? Action without love. So it's very important to stay focused in your lane. And God, how do you want me? If you're evangelist, be very careful how you package things and present things. But basically show them God's love, sorry. I went to India, I sat by this guy, and he was, uh, it was a, that was that was a really long flight, been there three times. And he was, he, I didn't talk about Jesus at all. I was asking him about his religion. And he was telling me all this stuff, and uh, you know, where he worships a demon goddess. And I'm like, you mean he knows a demon? Because in my world, people are like, we didn't know it was a demon. But they're like, he's like, yeah, we know it's a demon goddess. It's a, I'm like, a demon. So you worship a demon. I just couldn't figure that out. You know it's a demon, and you're, I just don't understand. Uh, I mean, I understand some people, I worked with some people in a cult, but in this case, I was surprised. Um, and he was just, I just asked him questions. I mean, I don't study different religions. I just stay in my lane. I, I learn basically with my clients or seeing stuff, Holy Spirit showing me this and that. But uh, that went on for, I want to say, I don't know, six hours, eight hours, seven hours. And then, and then, you know, I just showed him love and mercy. And I was just, you know, get to know him. I was very nice. We exchanged, you know, uh, what's, what's up. And uh, I go to India and we're busy. It was very hot. And he texts me wanting to know about Jesus. He wanted Jesus. And I'm thinking, oh, I had eight hours. And he wants me, and, and, and I'm a slow texter. I'm like, dee, 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 dee. And, and I'm trying to do that. 
you know, and you know, he has to use it in his heart by text. I was like, wow, that would have been great, those eight hours. See what my point is? My point is just stay, kick back, listen to the Holy Spirit. Sometimes they just want it to be heard and then they see the fruit. And then, like I said, I didn't tell him anything about you. Well, Jesus, let me know. He, he you know, I did mention, you know, I'm Christian, you know, you know, casual kind of stuff. And then we, we were texting and he told me hours of all this stuff of him and, and their beliefs or culture and this and that. And I get to India a few days, it was a few days later he, want, he was asking questions about Jesus and he asked Jesus in his heart and I still stay in contact with them, I try to. So that, see there's a difference. You don't have to do much. You can say God, pray, Jesus. You don't have to say it once or just be nice and kind and uh, give them mercy and grace and let God touch their heart and they will open up to you. I think you'll be surprised on that one too. But anyway, I just want to come in agreement. God's will be done. And if you're a bubble thumper, I ask God, okay, is it productive? Are they, people going to respect me? Are they going to listen to me? Is that what God wants? Start asking, okay? And it may, it may be your norm, but it turns those people off for Jesus. They, they run from Bible thumpers. And I know personally because guess who they go to most of the time? And I have to hear about it. So, you just stay focused, love on people, let God tell you what they love, why He loves them, and just show good fruit. And may you have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And God give you clarity and wisdom if you're Bible thumping or not. And if you're not, great job. Great job. The others, y'all gotta tune it. Y'all gotta tone it down, okay? Until next time, if you're enjoying my stories, my examples, or my lessons, or God's creations out here in Texas, give me a thumbs up or subscribe so then that lets me know that you are interested, there are people that still want to learn, and I will continue. Until then, just know through Jesus, you're the righteousness of God. Bye.